it's been a few months back, but I was uh, super fascinated by getting my drone over the little towns around where I grew up just to like see, I don't know, a different perspective. It was the first time I flew over my little town, Lynchburg. You know, it's just neat to see how it's laid out. So anyway, I posted a video where I got my drone over Blanchester, Ohio. And I said in the video, Blanchester's got some neat houses, just the architecture. Um, and I mentioned how you can tell, especially in the small towns across America, that people really had pride in how things were laid out and the way buildings were designed to, to give a small community its own character and its own feel and its own vibe. And uh, recently in Blanchester, the, probably the one building that's not a home in Blanchester burned to the ground. And uh, so I went today and I got some pictures of the uh, aftermath of that. And uh, it's pretty sad. drove as close as I could and then walked the rest of the way and then I just kind of showed up with my camera and my drone and did what I do and it didn't take very long for um, you know people were around me asking what was going on and I told them what I was doing just kind of documenting things and I told them that I had good footage of the center of Blanchester before the fire and I wanted good footage of the center of Blanchester after the fire and uh, For me, I think it's important. As soon as I got this camera, I walked around Lynchburg and just took pictures. I took a lot of pictures and I think they were really good pictures. And someone commented that they were gonna be really important uh, one day. Those pictures would be really important one day. And I, I guess I just didn't think about getting my drone over a new little town. I don't know, it was just like a fascination of mine, but it quickly became important because I mean, how many aerial shots of that little town could there be? And, like, my family knows people that grew up there. I know tons of people that have lived there and go to school there. And, like, I remember the festival that they used to have in the middle of town, and my grandpa would play music, and I was there, and it was a big deal. And that shop was always there with the dome. Uh, and, you know, now that dome is sitting on the floor in the middle of that store, so. Yeah, it's just super sad. Anyway, um, I am glad that I got what I got, and I'm glad that I got what I got today.
So, uh, yeah, just sad. It's just a sad thing, but I'm glad that I was able to take pictures of it. So.